Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, from wherever you are connected. Thank you for joining us today. Solicad, along with Autodesk, going to introduce Innovai Solutions webinar series, the number one, uh, starting today. We're going to have a series of more uh, webinars coming along the way, focusing more on the products. But today is going to be more a high level uh, look at uh, Innovai Solutions, um, the wonderful products uh, we have now. Uh, ordered as acquired in wise as you most of you guys know just in case if you have if you're not familiar with auto desk and solicad a brief introduction order desk is, is the company uh, developing uh, all the CAD software and uh, especially the leader in worldwide we look at the engineering markets and solicad we are a, a, a platinum a level um, partner with Autodesk dealing with the uh, CAD technology for many years. Uh, some of you guys uh, are already our clients and uh, uh, those who are new uh, in, into this webinar, uh, you know, just uh, as, as an introduction, you know, uh, we are here for over 25 years in Canada delivering uh, the high level uh, support and uh, customer service uh, with respect to professional services comes to the CAD uh, related uh, techniques and technologies and we were uh, uh, launched um, uh, in 1996 and uh, now uh, over 140 employees across Canada and uh, when you look at our technical team uh, we have one of the largest uh, and most uh, uh, experienced technical team uh, across uh, Canada dealing with the uh, all engineering disciplines and the software solutions uh, uh, in the CAD world. And our goal is to, to give the best of the best to the client uh, when it comes to their experience in, in uh, optimizing their workflows, uh, technology, uh, it doesn't matter uh, in the design world or analysis world. Also, we handle uh, uh, many, many projects in the managing uh, data and collaborating and sharing with the uh, with the uh, with the current technology, using and uh, taking advantage of all the uh, the best uh, technology out there uh, with Autodesk and uh, other other uh, sources too. So, as I introduced, uh, trying to uh, you know introduce myself, uh, I'm, I'm Prem Joseph, the technical consultant from Solicad. Along with me today, uh, we have Ryan Brown. Uh, he is the solutions engineer uh, at Autodesk, uh, specializing in, in NOI solutions and, and leading the NOI team to in the technical side. So uh, just uh, going to pass it to, to Ryan. You know, he's going to give a brief uh, uh, introduction and then uh, take it from there. Ryan, thanks. Yeah, um, like Prem said, I'm Ryan Brown. I, uh, uh, solutions engineer for Autodesk, uh, formerly uh, what was Innovise, so uh, well versed in, in the Innovise software and uh, happy to uh, talk through things today. Um, I think you have to stop sharing for me to be able to, yeah, there we go, cool. All right, so that should be up. Um, so just kind of a brief uh, look at uh, what I was hoping to accomplish today is just to really understand who Innovise is. If you haven't heard of us already, uh, what, are, what our solutions are and why do they really matter uh, in today's environment? Uh, and then also how do we fit in Autodesk? How do we work with the other uh, products that Autodesk already, already offers? And then uh, the bulk of it will be uh, what does Innovise offer? What are our main products and, and what do we provide uh, for our clients? Uh, so the whole reason we're here, because uh, Autodesk uh, purchased us about a year and a half ago um, to really expand their um, digital solutions, especially in the water infrastructure space. Uh, Innovise has been uh, routinely just a, a water software company, a software company for water utilities, whether it's wastewater, water, or, or stormwater. Um, our solutions are, are centered on the, the idea that it's uh, has to do with water rather than necessarily other kinds of uh, design components. And while we're relatively new to the Autodesk family, we have been around for 
uh, I think 35, 40 years in, in different kinds of capacities of uh, different uh, company names and things like that. Uh, and because of that, we're used all across the world uh, in many of the major cities around the world, um, as well as uh, most major countries as well. Um, as far as our kind of core offerings, those this can be in either water distribution, drainage, stormwater, and sewer and flood design, uh, asset management, as well as operational analytics. Uh, so just kind of looking at high level, why do our solutions really matter right now? Uh, there's a lot of um, scarcity of clean water. Um, there's a tremendous number of people that are uh, suffering, uh, especially uh, at least in the US where, I, where I'm based, um, out, out in the Western parts. I even uh, recently saw that the Army Corps was tasked with um, the feasibility of basically shifting water from the east side of the country to the west side of the country just because of the um, water scarcity uh, being faced there. Um, and just a lot of economic loss associated with that. Um, as we all know, climate change is, is being impacted and being able to uh, understand what these uh, impacts are going to be on our systems as they are today, how we can plan best for the future. Um, we can certainly help with that. The uh, sustainability and resilience, a lot of governments are um, being big proponents of that, trying to be proactive and addressing certain things. Uh, and then also, of course, aging infrastructure and aging workforce where uh, we have to um, understand what our best assets are, whether they're at risk of failing. Um, and then with the aging workforce, just uh, increasing the automation to be able to make sure that the people picking up the pieces from these older people with decades of experience uh, understand what they're doing uh, or they're uh, automating the task to not have to um, have so much burden on those those folks. As far as the core clients that we typically serve, it's either water utility, sewer utility, river authority, or private industry. Uh, typically for the private industry, uh, we're um, trying to just avoid costly mistakes, increase the project efficiency on these things. And then also related to uh, the water and, and sewer utilities, you know, which type of modeling software do they have? Uh, and if they're going to work in those environments, um, that it makes sense to be able to work in the same uh, types of uh, programs. But as far as the water utility, the sewer utility, or the river authority, um, this is often just looking for maintaining level of service, making sure that uh, things are um, operating correctly and that the uh, customers that they're serving are uh, getting the full benefit of their uh, services. Um, same thing with river authorities to limit the amount of damage that could come from uh, riverine flooding uh, and other kinds of uh, drainage infrastructure. So how do we fit into Autodesk? Um, uh, personally, I see it as being quite nice uh, where we're kind of um, uh, fitting on either end, uh, where we're doing a lot of the analysis using our uh, storm sewer flood uh, product, which is InfoWorks ICM, uh, designing the drainage using Info Drainage, uh, designing and making sure that um, water distribution systems are operating correctly with InfoWater Pro and InfoWorks WS Pro. And then uh, along the same line, uh, whether it's a combined sewer, sanitary sewer, or just a plain sanitary or, or a, a plain stormwater system um, using InfoWorks ICM to do some of those analytics. Um, there's also uh, operational and maintenance uh, types of digital twinning uh, products that we offer that are Input 360 Insight, Input 360 Asset, um, and then also our uh, Imagine platform, uh, which is um, our AI for uh, looking at optimizing processes and wastewater and water treatment plants. Uh, so going back just to the uh, kind of four or five core uh, solutions that we have, um, kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but water distribution, modeling water distribution networks of potable water, drinkable water, storm sewer flood, uh, anything from 1D to 2D analysis of sanitary storm flood scenarios, um, drainage design. Uh, Really, this is ideal for being able to set up green infrastructure, uh, making sure the design is efficient, sustainable, mitigates the flooding, all that kind of stuff. Uh, asset management for making sure you're spending the right dollar um, in the right place at the right time, making sure that things are, are, um, are correctly uh, risk associated 
and that um, and that there are um, and then operational analytics that are um, used for um, used for building out dashboards and being able to uh, understand what the system looks like at a, at a higher level, look for trends and things like that in the in the solution set. Oh, this, I must have hit a bunch of slides. Whoops, let me, um, sorry about that, guys. Oh, it's because I hit the, sorry. A little frazzled here. Um, there we go. Uh, water distribution. Uh, so looking at uh, what we offer here, it's Info Water Pro, uh, which is an extension of ArcGIS Pro, and then InfoWorks WS Pro, which is its own standalone GUI. Um, both can interact with GIS data and, and things like that with no problem. Uh, but both of these programs are used for modeling water distribution systems, uh, understanding the risk, getting a, an incident analysis, uh, looking for water loss and non-revenue water um, issues that might be going on, uh, look for system optimization, um, and then also some of the basic things, just making sure there's enough fire flow uh, for new developments when they come in, or making sure that there's enough pressure in certain areas, um, or understanding what the pressure issue might be if complaints come into a uh, utilities department. A good example of uh, where uh, InfoWater Pro has been used, um, HDR, a uh, large multinational uh, engineering firm, uh, was tasked with putting together the uh, hydraulic model for uh, the Metropolitan Utilities District, which serves uh, the greater part of uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, really what they were challenged with was being able to convert data into um, CAD files and just being able to uh, build things and start things with a uh, all pipes water model. They were also um, faced with not having an existing model. So they didn't have anything to really uh, start off with and uh, really had to build the whole model from scratch. Uh, the uh, benefits that they saw with, our, uh, with um, InfoWater Pro uh, is the GIS gateway offering more just functionality to bring data in and bring data out. Uh, the modeling speed, just being able to uh, quickly build models and put them together. Uh, and the different tools within Info, Info Water Pro, uh, like the demand allocator, being able to um, spatially uh, attribute loads and um, demands for uh, the different areas uh, based on spatial uh, information whether it's a group of uh, meters and associating that with a node or um, coming up with polygons to be able to attribute that information as well. Uh, storm sewer flood. Uh, this is uh, InfoWorks ICM is our um, solution for this. Um, this is the counterpart, I guess, to InfoWorks WS Pro. Um, this is just on the gravity side of things. Um, this is all kinds of uh, 1D or 2D underground open channel, uh, hydrology, hydraulics, uh, really everything is comprehensive in terms of uh, being able to put everything into one model, uh, analyze the entire system as a whole, uh, and whether it's a com combined system, a sanitary system, or just a um, stormwater system, um, this can certainly handle it all. Um, it comes in two flavors, if you will, uh, one being the InfoWorks ICM standard, which is geared a little bit more towards um, sanitary systems, uh, ones that don't have a lot of um, concerns about SSOs uh, or other things like that. It is only the one dimensional aspect of being able to model um, things. Uh, you can still do open channels, um, but then also the closed systems, uh, primarily for those sanitary systems. InfoWorks ICM uh, is just kind of uh, the next level, uh, being able to incorporate two-dimensional modeling. Uh, so this would be overland flow, um, having water move in multiple directions and not having to uh, necessarily make some of those assumptions you might have to with a uh, um, just a 1D model. Uh, this is just to be able to understand the risk in general of a city, um, understand if there's going to be issues with SSOs, and being able to uh, figure out ways of operating the system to better combat those types of systems. Uh, and then also, of course, preventing flooding, preventing damage to uh, buildings. Um, also within the InfoWorks ICM Ultimate, there's a, a risk master uh, where you can even attribute um, depth uh, damage curves to be able to understand if it makes sense to uh, go forward with a project or not of you know how much it's gonna benefit the, the area. Um, 
Of course, it's used for simple things too, just like the capacity analysis uh, as new systems and new parts of the um, system come online. Um, so there's certainly that as well. A good example of um, how well this was used for uh, San Francisco Public Utilities Commission, um, they have a very large and complex um, combined system where they're having to uh, handle a lot of different uh, topographies. Uh, as a result of that, it, it becomes a complicated system of uh, force mains and pump stations in sewer mains of gravity systems, um, all that kind of stuff, and a uh, huge population, huge area that they're covering to be able to uh, do that. Um, lots of the challenges that they face were, were again, that topography, uh, being able to model things in an accurate way, uh, whether it was a passive control or an active control. Uh, and then because it's such a large system, they had multiple engineers working concurrently on the model. One of the really unique things about InfoWorks ICM is the workgroup database function where it actually allows multiple users to be in the same model at the same time. Helps with collaboration. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of data management tools uh, within InfoWorks ICM to uh, fl flag the data and understand where it's coming from and who changed what and being able to uh, work together instead of, um, you know, kind of hoarding work and, and having um, people mess up your model, basically. Um, the real-time controls in it, excuse me, uh, were used to represent some of those passive and active controls, being able to um, better understand how things are operating and, and being treated, uh, depending on the different pathways that were set up with the real-time controls. And then, of course, being able to model all the underground and overland flows uh, with that 1D, 2D capability, um, addressing some of those challenges with the topography of the city and understanding the complexity of a, com uh, of a combined system. Uh, third is our drainage design software uh, called InfoDrainage. Um, really, this is uh, probably the most different piece of software that we have. Um, a lot of our software is more for like the analytical side of things. This is very much a design software. Um, even prior to the acquisition of Autodesk, uh, we've been pretty well integrated with Civil 3D. Uh, there's um, even an option in the ultimate package. Um, just like in Forks ICM, there are two flavors, the standard and the ultimate. Uh, the ultimate package includes a ribbon within Civil 3D to be able to import and export uh, models. Um, so you can go back and forth relatively seamlessly. Um, but also within the standard, there's a lot of functionality in terms of being able to export out into CAD files, uh, being able to import and export uh, land XMLs for pipe networks, um, as well as other data formats like GIS and, and text files. Uh, really the idea here is to just have a more comprehensive type of uh, drainage design than some of the others on the market. Um, this is also particularly good for green infrastructure where there are uh, built-in modules for uh, rain gardens, for underground storage, for infiltration trenches, all those types of things. And being able to really maximize the amount of developable land uh, because of that, uh, by being able to see everything in one space and, and how things uh, impact each other uh, with a fully dynamic model. Uh, the good case study that we have on this is uh, looking at a um, issue that uh, the city of Tulsa uh, was facing with urban flooding in Oklahoma City facing with uh, flooding um, and just looking to model and optimize the design for LID practices where it was uh, very distributed throughout these uh, two different areas that they were um, looking to reduce the flooding. Um, there's also uh, poor water quality that they were trying to address uh, and being able to remove some of those pollutants. Uh, what they found was with info drainage, they were able to create these LID designs relatively quickly and easily. Uh, they could understand what kinds of water quality improvements they would make um, because there are water quality routines uh, within it. And then also just in general, being able to reduce the flow uh, with multiple uh, structures throughout the uh, catchment rather than say one large type of uh, structure at um, you know, the most downstream point or, or something. So they are able to show a pretty significant reduction uh, in both the Oklahoma City study and the Tulsa study for reducing the peak flow of the 100 year event. 
asset management. Um, really, this is uh, the idea is to spend your first dollar in the right place at the right time. Info360 Asset is our uh, platform that we have centralized on for that as a SaaS offering. Uh, but really, this the idea here is just to uh, improve the confidence in the uh, CIP program. Um, be really, really transparent with the board or whoever is uh, approving the budget and making sure that you're spending um, um, the appropriate amount of uh, money on your system to properly maintain it. A uh, good case study we have with that is with the North Charleston Sewer District, um, where they were um, had a lot of different factors, a lot of different stakeholders, lots of different data, uh, and they were just having trouble really understanding it uh, from that perspective of uh, pulling all this data in together, uh, making it uh, transparent and easy for um, people to understand since there are multiple people involved with it. Uh, and the whole solution was to be able to build out uh, decision trees within uh, InfoAsset and be able to ingest a lot of that uh, pipe data um, and then also uh, be able to QC it um, as it's coming in um, rather than having to, to say manually do it or something like that. Uh, the decision trees in particular um, created uh, an easy streamlined process to be able to aggregate a lot of the data that they already had, be able to put that into a uh, format that people uh, would understand and make sense to them. And as a result, the board of commissioners who approved their um, asset uh, <laughs> management budget were able to approve multi-million dollar plans with no questions asked because it was such a transparent, easy to understand process. Um, they were able to do that. Operational analytics. Uh, this is uh, Info360 Insight is another SaaS platform very similar to Info360 uh, Asset uh, where the idea is to uh, link into hydraulic models uh, like our InfoWater Pro, Pro platform, uh, be able to run uh, simple analyses like break incident analyses, uh, but then also use uh, different mass balance approaches and things like that to uh, minimize the amount of water loss uh, by looking at uh, different pressure zones and, and setting up um, basically understand the uh, infrastructure leakage index, which is a AWWA standard for uh, understanding uh, water loss in a system but being able to look at trends of that um, infrastructure uh, leakage index as well as uh, trends and comparisons to uh, let's say pump performance uh, making sure that things are calibrated correctly uh, by having that direct connection with the hydraulic model um, and then also just building out dashboards and, and reports to be able to understand um, a little more in depth about uh, what exactly is going on in a system and, and be able to convey that information to maybe less technical stakeholders that might be around. Um, so the whole idea here is uh, to be able to monitor that system. We connect in with the SCADA data historian um, and, and then also with the hydraulic model um, F if desired, um, but the whole idea here is to be proactive rather than reactive to uh, different situations. Um, some interesting ones might be a uh, water main break that uh, wasn't discovered until the next morning when um, a person said that their street was flooded. With a system like this, they could have uh, had alerts set up and, and seen that well before uh, the, the morning hours when they had a complaint come in. They could have seen it relatively quickly as the uh, pattern diverged from what was typical and what was expected. Um, this real-time connection um, also makes it uh, really useful for just different decision making and making sure um, that uh, different operations are going to benefit the system overall and then being able to uh, run different kinds of what-if scenarios with that live data understand who's going to be impacted if a pipe breaks. Um, and then also the purpose-built analytics, being able to uh, pull in um, diurnal patterns and other things that might be needed for uh, model calibration. So back to this slide where, you know, why does it matter? Where do we fit in? Uh, so the global water crisis, you know, that's going to be InfoWater Pro, Info360 asset where we're trying to optimize the system. We're trying to uh, make sure that the um, the amount of water loss in a system is going to be minimal, um, all those sorts of things. InfoWorks ICM Pro, or sorry, InfoWorks ICM, 
is more along the uh, climate change, you know, as, as different factors uh, come in based on climate change. Uh, there can be um, ties with time series data, understanding if, um, you know, a, a certain size hurricane comes in, uh, what's it going to do to the system? and really understand if uh, you change some certain operations, if that's going to have a positive impact on things. Uh, sustainability and resilience, uh, I think we're looking for info drainage there where, uh, again, some of that green infrastructure being put in, being able to reduce the amount of peak flow in different areas, as well as being able to clean up the water quality. Aging workforce, um, that's primarily going to be with Info360 uh, asset um, and insight, I think, to some extent, um, although that's not on here. But just having a, a full data log of uh, the history of the system, where it was, where it uh, went to, all that kind of stuff. Um, so they're not, you're not losing that institutional knowledge. You've got some database and some format to be able to um, maintain uh, where that information and data is. With that, I'll, I'll hand it back to uh, Prem. Thank you, Ryan. That is a very good uh, high level overview of you know why solutions do you mind uh, stop sharing just yeah. wanted to there we go okay, thank you just wanted to let everybody knows um, that we have a website page launched uh, with all the invoice information at the SolidCAD. So our customers can go in and look for the information and if you need to contact uh, SolidCAD, uh, there are links to, and uh, thanks for the marketing team. All right, so if if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask or, or type in um, in the chat window or QA window. Just like I mentioned earlier, at the beginning of this session, we are going to do a number of uh, topics eventually with uh, focusing on uh, different products from InnoWise. And uh, yes, uh, there's a question. Do you offer any training courses? Um, we will be. We're going to start with uh, Info Drainage and uh, you know, you could, we could get you uh, some information on that uh, from our sales team. Okay. Eventually, yes, that's the plan. We will be getting into doing some training. You know, some of the trainings may be in collaboration with the Autodesk team. And uh, yes, we will be offering training courses. Um, I guess kind of in the same thought there, there are uh, tutorials within each of the softwares too to help you get started. Yes, absolutely. With all these products, uh, there are tutorials and, 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 and some good help systems and uh, data sets available uh, if you wanted to, to look into that. Any other questions, guys? Okay. Thank you, everyone, for. Uh, oh, I got somebody Dave. else. Hey, Dave. Maybe he just wanted to stop us if he's. I'm going to type something in. No, I think. Uh... Hey, Dave, you have a question? No, I'm good, Prem. Thanks very much for everything. Appreciate you and Ryan getting together and putting together the high-level look at, uh, at where Innovise can help us along the way. Um, and I know that you're looking at putting together those training courses with all the tutorials that come into uh, into play as well with uh, with each in Innovise product. So thanks very much. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Thank you. All right, so think we don't have any any more questions so we will uh, 
close the meeting and uh, thanks again for everyone attending the meeting. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm.